I, I was sort of brought up on the old ball flight laws and judging about what was happening to the ball and then reverse reverse the process so to speak and figure out okay well what have we got to do in order to get the ball online in the old days obviously you just have them on video and you they're not swinging well and you look at it and say well there's a little bit of this and a little bit of that so there's a bit of guesswork going on well, years ago i sort of always felt that i always knew that the fact that well listen how come i can i, I can make a swing here and my divot looks you know 10 degrees to the right of the target and the ball starts straight left i mean that in the old ball flight laws it wouldn't <laughs> that wouldn't have you know, that, that didn't sort of strike, strike a chord with anybody. We now know, obviously, that obviously the, the face plays such an important role in the initial starting direction that the ball takes off on. You know, TrackMan really is a, is a shortcut to understanding what's happening with, with the ball flight. And one of the big ways we use it is really when somebody's really swinging well, we've now got the numbers that we can then revert back to. So it's, you know, you're not guessing. The numbers don't lie, you know, okay, this is what's happening. The relationship between the face position and the path, I and mean, how, how that does create you know, draws and fades. And diversion from traditional teaching where you're purely just working on the mechanics and hopefully the end result is that the ball takes off. Well now we can sort of tie the two together so much better.